About 20,000 years ago, Earth was a frosty wonderland inhabited by massive woolly mammoths. Vast ice sheets, several kilometers thick, covered parts of North America, Asia, and Europe. This is what we named the Ice Age. But what if the Ice Age returns? Yes, you got it right. The Ice Age is already underway, and we all need to get prepared for the deep freeze. But when is this likely to happen, and what does it mean for humanity? Join me on this epic journey into the enigmatic world of Ice Ages, as we uncover the secrets behind what triggers these icy epochs and what could be in store for our future. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to never miss an update whenever we post. So, let's get started with the video right away. To understand the return of the Ice Age, we first need to grasp what an Ice Age is. An Ice Age, for those of you who don't know, is a period in Earth's history when the polar ice caps expand and cover a significant portion of the planet. But it's not all about ice and snow. It's about climatic extremes, dramatic shifts, and their impact on life as we know it. And that's why of late, we had a growing concern about climate change even as the danger of global warming begins to hit us hard. In recent years, we've witnessed the extremes, scorching summer temperatures in Europe, exceeding a blistering 46 degrees Celsius and snowfall in South Africa. With temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling negative 10 degrees Celsius, we've received conflicting warnings from scientists, with some sounding the alarm for severe heat waves, and others predicting the onset of a new ice age or a sharp cooling period lasting millions of years. This has forced delegates from different countries around the world to continue to push for the agenda of decarbonization. This targets to solve one challenge, and that's the warming of Earth. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The biggest worry is the return of the Ice Age, or the last glacial maximum, as geologists prefer to call it. Now, over the past million years, the Earth has experienced multiple ice ages, highlighting the ever-changing climate on Earth. Let's travel back some 2.4 billion years ago. This is when Earth experienced its first ice age, the Huronian Ice Age. Back then, the planet received 15% less sunlight, and primitive algae started emitting oxygen, which pushed methane, a potent greenhouse gas, out of the atmosphere. And the result? Earth froze for a staggering 300 million years. But at the equator, pockets remained untouched by permafrost. Fast forward to the Cryogenian, around 720 million years ago. This ice age was no joke. Even at the equator, temperatures rarely climbed above a bone-chilling negative 20 degrees Celsius. Negative 50 degrees Celsius became the norm. Some scientists even believe our oceans froze solid, with dry ice forming atop water ice. During the Cryogenian era, scientists speculate that Earth was a mirror image, and only a few hardy bacteria and algae near hot springs managed to survive this deep freeze. But then 450 million years ago, we had the Andean Saharan Ice Age, which lasted for 30 million years. Although not as harsh as the Cryogenian, glaciers as tall as three kilometers occasionally ventured into subtropical latitudes. But it all ended in a cataclysmic event known as the Great Dying or the Permian Extinction, which is considered the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. According to one theory, the thawing of the Earth at the end of this ice age triggered a methane hydrate bomb. Methane, locked in the ground, escaped into the atmosphere, displacing oxygen and making conditions uninhabitable. The result? A staggering 70% of terrestrial and a shocking 96% of marine life forms went extinct. Now, it is important to understand that ice ages aren't a one-time event. They come and go in cycles, spanning millions of years, hence the term ice age cycles. These cycles are driven by various factors, including Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and wobbles. But of significance to us is the Milankovitch cycle, a cosmic phenomenon that goes beyond Earth's tilt and orbit, named after Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic. The Milankovitch cycles played a crucial role in these oscillations and influenced the timing and intensity of the ice ages. Milutin Milankovic proposed that Earth's long-term climate wasn't solely shaped by its axial tilt, but by ice age dance choreographed by cycles in Earth's movement around the sun. Earth's wobbles and tilts change the distribution of sunlight on its surface. When these factors align every 100,000 years or so, we enter a deep freeze phase that lasts for thousands of years. During these cold spells, cool summers prevent the previous winter's snow from melting, causing ice sheets to grow year after year. They also have a cooling effect by reflecting more solar energy back into space. 
Now, this should not make you think we're safer. In fact, the most recent ice age, the last glacial maximum, peaked around 20,000 years ago. During this period, the colder conditions transport carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the ocean, amplifying the cooling effect in expanding glaciers. Towering ice sheets stretched over North America, Europe, and Asia, transforming the planet's geography. The last ice age featured an array of iconic megafauna, from mammoths and saber-toothed tigers to giant ground sloths. These creatures roamed the icy landscapes alongside early humans, making for an epic chapter in Earth's history. Early humans faced incredible challenges during the last ice age. This forced them to devise innovative tools and strategies to thrive in the harsh conditions, crafting a fascinating narrative of resilience. But how did we get out of this? Well, about 20,000 years ago, a twist in Earth's orbit brought more sunshine to the giant ice sheets, kickstarting their melt. Sea levels rose by a staggering 130 meters, and carbon dioxide was released from the ocean back into the atmosphere. Fast forward to today, and here's where things get interesting. The climate's cooling trend suddenly reversed about 150 years ago. Why? Well, carbon dioxide levels began soaring due to increased fossil fuel use, as well as increased natural processes like volcanic activity, rock weathering, and organic matter decomposition. It's shocking that carbon dioxide levels are rising faster and higher than they have in the last 800,000 years. But here's the intriguing part. The ice age cycle is far from over. While we currently live in a warmer interglacial period, ice ages are cyclical, and the next one is a matter of when not if. Climate scientists at the forefront of ice age research are deploying cutting edge technologies and collecting ice cores from Antarctica and Greenland to unlock the puzzle of ice age triggers. And considering that ice cores act as time capsules, preserving a record of past climate conditions, scientists are now analyzing the isotopic ratios and gas concentrations in those ice cores to reconstruct climate patterns and predict the timing of future glaciations. And looking at their early findings and predictions, the next ice age isn't as distant as you might think. Some scientists propose that the next glacial period could arrive within the next few thousand years. But this again could be even much sooner considering the increasing human activity that inadvertently alters greenhouse gas levels, a potential wild card in the Earth's climate system. Already we're witnessing signs that suggest we might be heading into a cooling phase. One of the key indicators is the declining solar activity, marked by fewer sunspots. Historically, periods of low solar activity have correlated with cooler climates on Earth. Additionally, we've observed a slowdown in the North Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, which regulates heat distribution in our oceans. Of course, in recent history, we've witnessed what are known as mini ice ages, like the Little Ice Age that occurred from the 14th to the mid-19th century. During this period, glaciers advanced and winters became harsher. But even before that, Earth experienced anomalies like the Younger Dryas, a sudden return to glacial conditions around 12,000 years ago. So, as you can tell, the return of the Ice Age is not a distant myth, it's a scientific reality. But how will the return of the Ice Age impact humanity? Well, the return of the Ice Age carries profound implications for humanity. Almost all grain crops would perish and food supplies would dwindle rapidly. Those fortunate enough to find food would still face a grim fate, as power stations couldn't endure such cold, leading to widespread blackouts, collapsing buildings, and infrastructure decay. Fortunately, it's not all doom and gloom. Our civilization has evolved significantly over the centuries, and we've ventured into space and landed on the moon. So, why can't we tackle the cold? Of course, as the danger of the next ice age looms, scientists are working hard to explore the innovative solutions we might employ to navigate a world encased in ice. So, there you have it, guys. While we cannot predict the exact arrival of the next ice age, we can prepare ourselves mentally and technologically for the challenges that lie ahead. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing content like this. Thanks for watching.